hear when you guys are talking in the background. Okay, so we're writing the class person, and what does a person have? Help me remember. A person has a first name, a last name, and an age. And so I'm just going to call it first, and it's a string, and private string last, and private int age. And what does it say? Okay, create a person class. Create two subclasses of per person. Well, the lab exam is going to be slightly different because it's going to be more like the other one. But anyway, create. Okay, so we need book, arth book author. Oh, can we do the newer version of this, though, as in lab 11? So we'll do it, right? Because didn't we do, oh, it was, it was lot books that we subclassed differently. Is that true? Okay, this is going to be a great video to watch, guys. Okay, so we're going to make two subclasses of person. Wait, did I say how you initialize person? No. Nope. Okay, so I guess we've got person, and we're just going to have the default constructor, and we will have public and void, and I want to set first name, right? And I was very clear about... We'll call it string and name, right? And we will say first gets name, right? And yes, ask me a question. Should you like assure that the string has a like a, a normal length, or no? Did you not want to check that? Like well. So that would have been that would have been really excessive, right? I mean, at some level, the reason that so many people have web hacks. Last, last, thank you. Um, the the reason that so there are so many web problems on the web yeah. is that people, as URLs, uh, you know, when people fill in forms automatically, they will fill them in with enormously long things that overwrite <coughs> bits of of other URLs and stuff, and therefore yeah. cause problems. So. Should you check it if you were writing a real program? Yes. Okay. Um, should you check it if you're writing a program for this class? Now, I could argue that no, that's not necessary. Checking to make sure age is positive, yeah. Yeah. That okay. seems so reasonable, right? Really yeah, no. Public void set age, int age, and then something like if age is greater than or equal to zero, then, oops, this dot age gets age. Else, what did I say? I didn't say, right? Age gets, well, we'll make them 18. Did I say? I didn't no. say, right? That was the one that I just dinged you a quarter point if you didn't. Okay. So there's this, and now we're going to create a subclass of person. Okay. So let me compile this, make sure it works. It doesn't because there's that junk function in there they always give us. Um, compile, we're good. Okay, so now we're going to create a subclass of person. So we're going to make a new class called book author. And it's a class. And the first thing we need to do is we need to say book author extends person. Yeah, last time I checked, it's a person. Okay, person. book authors? Not always. I'm sure there's got to be one book that's authored automatically somehow, but... Okay, so a book author also has num books published and num awards, right? So we've got num books and private int num awards. And you can call these whatever you like, but you got to make sure you use my names for the getters and setters, right? So let's see. So here's the first thing, okay? If you are writing something that extends another class, you want to say something like, Super, right? Run my parent constructor. Now, strictly speaking, super always gets called on the default constructor. It's the first step. If you don't write super in there, it gets called anyway. But it would be nice for you to do it, right? It's a nice, it's a nice, it shows that you understand what's going on, right? And both me and the book have both said, you should write this in, right? Because you want to remember it under other circumstances. And in fact, I think I'm going to have to deviate from the, 
from the lab to show you. Okay, but so here's the super, and what do you need to do? You need to set num books to something reasonable like zero, and num awards to zero. And man, oh man, did I do nothing in my person class? Did I not like set defaults in there using the default constructor even? Dr. K. Yes. There were um, parameters in that constructor. Would you then do like super and then you put the And then you put the parameters in. Exactly. That's what I want to show you. So I will, sh I will show you. Let me show you because this is, re yes, yes, and you sh should have had to do that in lab 11, yeah, but, yeah. right, but let me show you. Anyway. So first gets, let's make it unknown, right, last gets, and if this is what you did, I can be argued with, I told you. I have good hearing, apparently. Extremely good. Yeah. <laughs> Crummy vision, though. So you can get pretty much anything by me. Um, well, why not doing a good job in this class? Huh? Oh, well, no. I make it a big font. It's fine. OK. So here's our person. So, so let's suppose for a minute that I said you should have two person constructors, OK? There's the default constructor, and then you should also have um, a constructor for person um, that is the non-default constructor, right? Anybody know how long our movie's been going? Let's stop it, and then we'll do another 15 minutes. Seven minutes? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's stop it anyway, and then we'll 